Hello beta lovers, what's up and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talking about a question what happen if you are not change water. Okay, hello beta lovers, what's up? Today I'm going to show you what happened if we are not changing water beta fish tank. And by the way, I answered the question by looking for samples of beta fish that I did not change the water. This video I make just for education purpose, so we can as beta lover can listen together from this experience. And you can see I've not changed the water of some beta fish. So some beta fish tanks are very dirty and green. Even though I don't change water, but I don't see serious problem in beta fish, except only dirty tank. But to prove that beta fish in good condition, so I have to look one by one. By the way, the fish I display are five beta fish, four female and one male. To make it easy, I number its beta fish and let's see. This is male. This is female. Female, female, female. Every time I give number one, two, three, four, five. And now to see more clearly, I move the beta first to the clean water. After that, we see one by one is there physical damage or disease in beta first. Okay, this is first number one. You can see basically this fish is fine. There is no fin root and no fungal in beta fish. Nice and unbelievable. Although not change water, the fish doesn't have a problem. I think this fish has a strong immune system. The color of beta still fine even though for one week I didn't clean the tank. Although I didn't change the water, but regularly I still feed beta. If beta fish are not fit for a long time, it will be very dangerous for beta fish health. Actually, for fish health, it's highly recommended to give catapalifs to the water. Okay, next beta, number 2, this is orange koi beta. You can see the beta condition, I think it's good, there is no problem with the tail and no fungal. Basically, this fish is in good condition. Okay, next beta first, number 3. This beta first, like Koi Tancho, although I didn't change the water for one week, but I think this fish in good condition. There is no fungal or fin root. Fish movement are also normal. Basically, this fish is in good condition. Okay, next beta number 4. This is female orange Koi beta. The color is funny, almost the same as the beta fish before. Although the water is not changed for one week, but this fish stay healthy. I don't know why, although this fish don't live in clean water, but it can survive from disease like fin root, fungal, white spot, and other disease. Next to the last beta, this is male half moon placard. I was really shocked. This fish has damage to the tail. I think this fish attacked by fungal so the tail becomes bad. Different from female beta, male beta are more susceptible to fungal disease. Females beta can survive from disease even though for one week the water is not changed, while male beta cannot survive. I deliberately did not change water because I thought it would be fine, but the reality the first that I like attacked by fungal. So I remind you don't be late to change water unless you use katapa leaves. If you are only use clear water without katapa leaves in a small place, then it will very dangerous if you don't regularly change the water. Moreover, if the temperature is very cool at the night, then the tile of beta will shrink. This is a serious issue. 
I'm sad enough that my beta first is sick but this can be a lesson for me and beta lovers well temporary conclusion that I can take is female beta are more resistant to disease and male beta are more susceptible to disease like fungal therefore if you are rarely rich in water then try to put catapalifs to the water catapalifs will make water better even though the water color turn brown first if you have some question you can write in commentar column thank you for watching this video and see you